Hello everyone, this is Divya Panchal. Today we are learning how to create a gallery page in a WordPress using Elementor. I am just using Elementor here, right? I have created gallery page earlier. You can see that this is the gallery. If you click on the one image, you can see that this is how it is working. You can full screen it or you can zoom it also, right? And you can share is also in the social media platform right this is the page that we have to create today now if you want to create this page you have to just log into your other wordpress website right and give the username and password here and just click on the login button i'm just clicking going to the dashboard and just search for the pages sections and just click on the add new page and you have to give the name of this page i'm just giving name here is adv gallery means adventure gallery right adv gallery and you have to click on on the button is uh, add it with uh, elementor we have built this page using the elementor right now you have to search for the gallery here just type gallery and you have to drop and drop this gallery right side to the section try again for this yeah it's perfectly loaded here now you have to select the images for that i am just selecting the images from media library i am just selecting it now you have to select another images i am just selecting another images from media library yes this is the we have selected eight items here just in, click on the insert gallery right you can see that now if you want to check the image set that is i am just selecting this these uh, images are not the size having same size of other images so you have to change it i'm just changing it you have to select the same size images so it look better in a website or you can change the size of images and after that you have to upload it here right so yes it look perfectly you can link these images right or you can change the column here from i'm just selecting the four columns here you can just give the links i'm just giving the link to media files when you click the image it open the file that is stored in the media of image you can change the other options i'm just giving the light box yes refresh rate right i don't use this now we have to create this type of gallery yeah it's working perfectly you can see that all the features that we have added here it is working perfectly a light box comes with these features it is working perfectly you can see that all the images are we have selected is working perfectly now go to the side sections if you want to change the spacing between the images you have just customize this right i am just giving the 15 pixels here right there are many options available here if you want to give the border i don't want actually border but i just show you that how it is working here right you have to all you can also change the color of the border here and to just give the border radius right you have to link all the things I'm just linking it and you can see that this is the border radius we don't 
use the border just give it to the zero and the none select the none options now just if you want to give the captions here of your image you can also give the captions and just select to the options that you want and just i am going to the publish this page and you have see that we have created the gallery but we need to this header for this page now go to the edit with uh, element just select structure i'm selecting the structure for that head right now give the sections background image i'm just selecting the background images for image for sections just select the classic and just select the image that you wanted to add in your backgrounds just click on the insert now this is the options available for background i am just selecting the position to center center attachment default repeat no repeat and you can see that now you go to the advanced sections give the padding i am just giving the padding for this diagram you can see that 190 now we have to add a text here heading text now view the adv gallery here yeah you can see that now we have to change the color of this or change the positions change the alignment center center tag is h1 right mm, size is default okay now go to the style now we have to change the color to the white these options are not much use of this today yeah it's looking perfectly just refresh page again and you can see that yeah this page is created now go to the gallery page and see yeah it's working perfectly all the galleries working if you want to give the space to the sections you have to go to the advanced sections and give the margin to the sections you can see that now just click on the update button and just go to the page again and you face it yeah you can see that now if you want to this kind of transparent header just click on the edit page or you can just exit from here exit to dashboard or just click on the edit of this page now go to the transparent header we have to just enable it and update this page go to the page yeah which look perfectly nice you can see that if you want to add menu here that we have created pages i just created page that i have to add into the menu just go to the menu sections and just click on the page that you have created just drag and drop save menu and the refresh page again and you can see that our page is in the menu adv gallery it is perfectly created thank you for watching this video thank you